Prohibition enforcement uh, in the United States was essentially doomed from the start. Prohibition agents were understaffed and underfunded. Their wages were so low that it was almost like they were being encouraged to take bribes. Many of them were patronage positions, the sons or the friends of a senator or a congressman. They were basically pulling anyone off the streets who they could do a favor for. Many were largely unqualified for any kind of real policing. Go buy a personality. They were basically just corrupt across the board. The raids on speakeasies and warehouses were essentially publicity stunts. Generally, if a politician wanted to show that he was doing something to enforce prohibition, they would raid the place and bust up a few barrels and make sure that they get it all on camera for the newspapers. If they caught anybody, they would say, well, you pay your way and then you're on your way. Your client's guilty. Your Honor, this hearing... Guilty. The fine is five dollars. Sure, yes. Five okay. dollars? Is this some sort of joke? This entire undertaking is sort of a joke. Next! That actually happened in Michigan. There was a federal judge who basically just threw up his hands, and he would impose these essentially meaningless fines just to get people out of the courtroom. There wasn't anybody that was really trying to enforce prohibition at this time because it was very unpopular. Maybe you don't understand the principle. We pay you pro heats not to ask questions. I haven't been paid yet. Corruption was rife. It was estimated that something like two-thirds of all prohibition agents were on the take. It was rare that there was any sort of do-gooder that would, you know, go in there just to raid a place. We obviously know about Elliot Ness, but the real Elliot Ness wasn't this incorruptible man of action, and his bringing down Capone is something of a fiction. Prohibition enforcement, in reality, didn't amount to all that much. It was more the illusion of enforcement than the reality. They didn't do very much to stem the literal and figurative flow of alcohol. Oh, make that a double. Yes, how? 